The idea of becoming an apprentice used to be a more commonplace pursuit. And thanks to programs like the one at Ivy Tech Community College, this model is making a comeback. An apprenticeship is going to have a set series of standards, which can be a combination of competencies or time, generally both. It can run up into the thousands of hours, depending on the types of, of apprenticeships that you're looking at. But they are very specific graduated steps into becoming a nationally recognized uh, expert in this field. And then that makes your experience portable across many different job opportunities, sometimes even internationally, because the standards are high enough that people have been able to take these and work at specific um, uh, you know, discipline related items overseas when they've had to. Most of the registered apprenticeship programs are hybrid models. So they combine uh, their competency-based and time-based. So oftentimes they'll come in to ask us, what does our programming look like that will fit their uh, model? And uh, typically that's where our technical certificate uh, comes in to meet that time-based um, model that they have. And it's, I uh, believe, about 27 credits or half of an associate. It can go up to 30 credits too, I believe. And um, so that's where we'll come in to help fill that RTI need. We seek to find the best ways that we can support our region. Uh, one of the ways that we can support our region is by making a more competitive, high-skilled work environment. And the apprenticeship model has been underutilized. So it is successful. It builds high-quality professionals. And it really upskills people within a company and leads to new and better job opportunities within and without. They'll have their Ivy Tech degree. They'll have their journey persons card. They'll have their Department of Labor certificate. And they'll have all of the national uh, portable cert or credentials or certifications that they'll gain that are embedded in the programming um, all along the way. We definitely see apprenticeships as a, a strong complement to other kinds of training and education. Um, it is not an exclusive either or sort of scenario. You have folks with college degrees that will then go on and get an apprenticeship. You have people with the apprenticeship that will then enroll in a college degree. You can do um, you know, one or the other as well, but these things complement each other. And what we're trying to do with an apprentice is to make sure that we have a world-class subject area professional. As a way to show off their program, Ivy Tech held a virtual summit called Apprenticeship Works. We came together with our systems office campus in Indianapolis and put on a statewide event uh, that would showcase and highlight how employers are using the apprenticeship model so that they can speak out to their peers in uh, industry. And we wanted to also open it up to not just the manufacturing industry, but we went ahead and sent invites out to other uh, sectors as well, because that sort of model can actually be applied to uh, sectors outside of manufacturing, like healthcare, IT, uh, and that list kind of goes on into even banking and other areas. So one of the things that we wanted to do was to use real world company experiences to be able to bring in people we have partnered with and really use it as an outreach to let others know that this is a viable model for building up more success, for building up a better employee culture, for building up better potential futures. And they have more plans for future events. We're going to be uh, running a uh, with, in partnership with IT sector partnership an event where we're going to be inviting uh, high school students to participate in a smaller work-based learning experience where they can actually uh, do a project for local employers and then have uh, a event, whether or not they'll be virtual in person, we'll have yet to find out, um, but it'll give a chance for them to kind of showcase themselves to employers. Through offering the chance to do apprenticeships, Ivy Tech is looking to invest in the future of the community as well as education. I see education 
as one of the things whose core jobs is to bring hope. We dedicate ourselves to building tomorrow, to building the future, to investing in people today where we may not see the payoff for 30, 50, 60 years. We're working with people that might be first generation uh, college students, that might be first time anybody's seen past the sale. And it might be a couple of generations before you see the real layout of that investment. We truly just wanna see a shift in education and have it be a larger partnership where education is working with government, which is working with industry, which is working with community organizations, so that it's a shared effort and a shared goal to make sure at the end of the day that people have family supporting and meaningful careers and that we can thrive together as a society. And much of that is done through education.